In today's video, we're going to be making some NHL playoff predictions. We're going to take a look at the standings as of now, take a look at the matchups, and see as of right now who would be your most likely Stanley Cup winner. We'll discuss all that coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, today we're going to be doing some more NHL playoff predictions. I usually like to do this a handful of times throughout the year as the standings change, as injuries happen, as teams make moves, adjust their lineups and rosters, and uh, certainly things can look and feel different for some teams uh, at different points in the season. So as of right now, I'm recording this video uh, on Thursday before Thursday games. So this won't make it to YouTube for a couple of days. So standings might change very everly slightly. I would suspect probably not much at all, but uh, we are doing this video um, a couple days ahead of time because I'm going to be on the road and going to be away a little bit here in the next coming days and weeks, but there will be lots of still be regular daily content coming. Uh, just going to be on the road for a little bit. Um, so as of right now, we're going to take a look at the playoff format and uh, take a look at the playoff matchups. And I also just want to have a quick peek because I know a lot of people are still a big fan of the conference one through eight format that we used to have in the NHL that we haven't had in some time and see how the matchups would compare. So as of right now, in the Eastern Conference, uh, we would have the two top teams be the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers. We'd also have the wildcard teams being the Detroit Red Wings and the Tampa Bay Lightning. So that would give us an all-Florida matchup of the Panthers against the Lightning. We've seen this before. Uh, lots of uh, bad blood between the two teams, and it's usually some pretty good hockey. So at the end of the day, that could be a very good series. The New York Rangers would battle the Detroit Red Wings in an all-original six matchup. Uh, Detroit's first time back in the playoffs after a lengthy absence. And, of course, the Rangers having a, a heck of a year being first in the Metro. That gives us your two versus three matchups across Eastern Conference being another rematch of Boston versus Toronto. We haven't seen that in a couple of years, uh, but they've had some epic uh, battles in the past with Boston breaking Toronto's hearts on multiple occasions before. Uh, we saw the Leafs kind of, you know, vanquish some demons last year, get past the first round and beat Tampa. Could it be the year that they vanquished their demons with the Bruins? And we'll discuss that here shortly. The other matchup would be Carolina against Philadelphia. Uh, over in the Western Conference, we have Vancouver would be the top seed, and we have the other top seed from the Central Division winners right now as of today. It's very, 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 very tight. This one's probably the one that could change the most, but as of right now, as I record this, it's the Winnipeg Jets. So the two wildcard teams are the uh, Nashville Predators and the Los Angeles Kings. So the Vancouver Canucks would hook up with Nashville because they're wildcard two. That would be our first matchup. And the Winnipeg Jets against the LA Kings would be our other matchup. So essentially, uh, we have the Kings would move over to battle in the Central Division through their playoff divisional series. And we have the Predators would jump over to the Pacific Division and do battle with Vancouver. Your two versus three matchups in each division would be the Vegas Golden Knights against the Edmonton Oilers out of the Pacific. And in the Central, we'd have what I would call an absolute slobber knocker between the Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche. I think out of between Winnipeg, Dallas, and Colorado, they all really need to win that division. You do not want to end up in that two versus three matchup. That might be, well, along with teams like Vegas and Edmonton, might be the toughest matchups possibly. Like You're going to see some really good teams get uh, beat out in the first round, unfortunately, because of the format. Now let's look at how things would go if we did have the old one versus eight format. Some of the matchups do work out to be a little bit different. There are some that are the same as well. In the Eastern Conference, we would have the Panthers and the Lightning again because they would still be one and eight, so there'll be no change there. Uh, the Rangers getting the number two seed for being the other division winner would battle the Philadelphia Flyers, so that would change. Uh, you'd get Boston against Detroit in an all-original six matchup and Carolina against Toronto. So you'd get three out of four matchups would be different. And some interesting playoff series that you know we haven't seen in a while. I mean, obviously Carolina and Toronto is one that... Um, I've been kind of looking forward to hopefully wanting to see in the last few years. It hasn't happened, but uh, now that we have a little bit more connections between the team with like Anderson and Bunting with the Hurricanes, it would be fun to watch those two teams battle. But unfortunately, that's not what we're going to get. In the Western Conference, uh, we would still have Vancouver versus Nashville. That would still be the one versus eight. Uh, the number two seed would be the Jets would battle the LA Kings. So that would part would be the same as well. The other two uh, matchups would be different. 
We instead we'd get three versus six, which is Dallas against Edmonton, and we'd have Colorado against Vegas. So a little bit different, but those four teams are all really good. So no matter how you stack it up, a couple of really good teams are going out early uh, in that kind of battle. That's we know for sure. So now let's take a look at the actual format, the funds that we talked about first, and I'll give you my predictions for how each round would go. Let's start in the Western Conference. Round one, Vancouver versus Nashville. Uh, I'm going to pick the Canucks on this one. I think the Nashville Predators have a really good chance at squeaking in as that second wildcard team. Um, to quote Daryl Sutter, <laughs> the, the fired coach from the Calgary Flames, it could be a waste of a seven or eight days for them, to be honest. I mean, at the end of the day, they usually play every other day, which is why he said eight days. I just don't see the Preds getting very far. Um, I think Vancouver would handle them pretty handily, and we would have ourselves a short series. Uh, the other matchup out of the Pacific would be Vegas versus Edmonton. Uh, that That's a really tough series. I am going to pick the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, I have concerns on Vegas. Obviously, they're dealing with a lot of injuries right now. I know that can change by the time we get to the playoffs. But based on the information we have today, there's some uncertainty about who's going to be available to them in the playoffs. I also don't know yet what they're going to do for deadline moves. So I will be doing this probably at least one more time before we get to the actual you know, knowing the official matchups where we can do predictions for, for real instead of just for fun. Um, but I would pick Edmonton right now. Um, I think that they're a team that's uh, very healthy. They're a team that's got tons of offense. Goaltending has been up and down, but for the most part, it's been, been good enough. Uh, obviously, my concern, of course, for Edmonton running into Vegas is their blue line. Uh, Vegas's blue line is really, really good. But at the end of the day, I would pick the Oilers, but it would be a tight series. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets against the L.A. Kings. That one, I would predict the Winnipeg Jets to win. Uh, L.A. right now, to me, my concern there is goaltending. Um, they've obviously got some really good players on that team they also have a lot of injuries up front on the wings i know they're likely going to address that through deadline moves but like i said i don't know what those moves are going to be yet so i can't really adjust my thought process but right now with the goaltending of connor hellebuck the strong defense minded are the winnipeg gents and the guys they have that can put the puck in that i think they would handle the winnipeg or the la king story on a probably a six game series Dallas versus Colorado would be the toughest one here. This is going to be really, really challenging. They both had their ups and downs, uh, but but really, really good teams. Um, I am going to pick the Avalanche, but it's the one series that I have the least amount of faith in when it comes to my pick. I really think the Dallas Stars could easily win. they got a great goaltender. They are rumored to be making some upgrades on the blue line before the playoffs, but again, like I said, I don't know that yet. And they have a pretty deep, well-balanced group of forwards. The Avalanche are expected right now. They, they just got Val Nishushkin back. Uh, we know uh, McKinnon and McCarr are you know, going to be running full tilt. Uh, they might have Landis Cog back. We don't know that for certain. Uh, and we know that they have obviously looking to make other moves. But again, don't know what those are going to be. Uh, but as we stand here today, I would pick the Avalanche in a tight seven-game series. Looking at the first round in the Eastern Conference in the battle of the uh, state of Florida, the Tampa Bay Lightning against the Florida Panthers, I would pick the Panthers to beat the Lightning, um, which is not something that we would have said a couple of years ago. Tampa Bay, of course, has been a a real force in that division and in that state. Uh, I think the Panthers are currently the best team in the Eastern Conference as of right now. Uh, I don't think that I would want to run into them in the first round, no matter who we are in Tampa. Uh, you know, it's a little bit fragile. I think they're they're not as strong as they used to be. Uh, they'll put up a, a fight, but I can see Florida winning in five or six games. Boston and Toronto would be really, really interesting and be a, a little different than in the past. Uh, obviously, the edge and goal would go to Boston. The edge and offense would go to Toronto. Um, it, it's tough to say how that would shake out. I I'm going to predict that the Maple Leafs would. Uh, kind of deal with their demons here and get past Boston. The only problem is, is I don't know if either of these teams are going to do well against the Panthers in the second round. So you want to win, obviously. You want to have your shot. But I think the Panthers, you know, are the uh, the class of that division right now. So I'll pick the Leafs to win uh, in a tough series. Maybe go seven games again just to keep tradition up with Boston. But it'd be tough series. Uh, Boston... Uh, I do have some concerns over how they've played as of late. Rangers versus Detroit. I would pick the Rangers to win. 
Um, Detroit five on five is not a great hockey club. If you take a look at all of their stats and analytics, it's amazing to me how they can keep finding ways to win and get the points to get in the playoffs. Like I said, five on five, they have not had a lot of success. They're not one of the stronger teams in the NHL. Uh, meanwhile, you've got, um, you know, a really strong Rangers team. I just, I think it's to be a bit of a mismatch to be honest. And I would pick the Rangers to win that series all day. Uh, Carolina against Philadelphia. Again, the Flyers are dealing with a lot of injuries right now. Uh, they, if they do hold this spot and make it into the playoffs, I'm not going to have a lot of faith in them. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a, you know, a case where they're overachieved, uh, but that's okay. Uh, you know, get the playoff revenue, get some experience for some of your newer players, and kind of go from there. But they, they very well are likely still going to be sellers at the trade deadline. We know that. So because of that, and because of the fact that Carolina is such a really good team, I would pick the Hurricanes to win. So the going into round two, that would set up some matchups for the second round of the Panthers against the Leafs again, just like last year. The Rangers against the Carolina Hurricanes. In the Western Conference, we'd have a Canadian battle of the Vancouver Canucks against the Edmonton Oilers, and we'd have the Winnipeg Jets against the Colorado Avalanche. So three of the four teams in the West are Canadian teams. What does that mean for the Cup maybe making its way north of the border? Well, let's go through this a little further here. Uh, In the Western Conference, Vancouver against Edmonton. I honestly would pick the Oilers again. Uh, I know the Canucks have had a strong year. Um, I am not sure that they're going to go very far in the playoffs. Uh, right now, and we'll see, They maybe they're the team that proves me wrong, but of all the top teams in the league, if you take a, take a look at the top four, five, six teams, I just, I, for some reason, I have not really built my confidence up around them just yet, and uh, we'll see if I'm wrong, but I just don't know that they can handle the blue line that they have and the experience that they have with McDavid and Dreisaitl and Nugent Hopkins and Hyman all coming at you. I just, I think the Oilers would, would win that series um, handily. Winnipeg against Colorado would be a really, really tough series as well. As much as I love the Avalanche, though, I think the Jets might be the team that's strong enough um, goaltending and defensively to take them down. Uh, I would actually pick Winnipeg. But again, I love the Avalanche. I think there's lots to like there. Lots of experience. Um, Nathan McKinnon is an absolute bull on skates. Um, Tough to slow down, tough to stop. But I think that they would have the team to do it. It would be have to be a low-scoring, really tight-checking short series, I think, would be for the Jets to win. Uh, the longer it goes, it would probably favor the Avalanche. Um, they could wear down Hellebuck over time. But, yeah, the Winnipeg Jets and the Edmonton Oilers would be in the Western Conference Final as of right now based on my predictions. In the Eastern Conference, Toronto against Florida. Honestly, I think Florida would beat the Leafs, and I think they would beat them handily just like they did last year. Uh, This Leafs team right now, at least, is not better than last year. They're not. The Florida Panthers, in my opinion, are better than last year, and they handled them last year as a stronger Leaf team. So I think they should theoretically handle them easily again. Um, You know, in my opinion, lately we've seen Bertuzzi and Domi play a lot better. I know early in the year, those signings were not looking great. Uh, goaltending is a very much a question mark uh, as well, and then the blue line for Toronto is not the strongest either. I know they're going to likely make upgrades, and maybe my opinion will change once we see what Brad Trevilling does at the deadline. But right now, I just don't see the Leafs being able to beat the Panthers. Uh, the, the other matchup in the East would be the Rangers and the Hurricanes. Again, the Hurricanes, to me, are still lacking that big game-breaking, goal-scoring guy when they really need a goal the most. Uh, I think as the playoffs go along and the games tighten up, they tend to have trouble scoring. And you run into a goalie like Shesterkin or Jonathan Quick, I think that they're just going to dry up, and I think the Rangers are going to be able to take that series. So we have a Panthers-Rangers Eastern Final, a Jets-Oilers Western Final. So in my opinion, winning the West is going to be the Oilers. Uh, I think I've, I've predicted this since the beginning of the season. Um, I stuck with them even through their early slump and I'm, I'm sticking with the Edmonton Oilers here to win the Western conference. I just think that they are going to be on a mission and unstoppable offensively as good as the jets are defensively. And then between the pipes with Hellebach, I think the Oilers will emerge victorious and go on to play for the Stanley cup for the first time. And in the Eastern conference, uh, I am going to say that I think the Rangers could be the team to stop Florida. Uh, I think right now the Rangers, to me, are going to be 
just a little bit better. I mean, right now we'll have to see what they each do with the deadline. Let's see, the other thing too is by the time you get to round three, a lot of things have changed with your club. You've run into injuries. Obviously, there's lots of issues that way that you know you're not the same team that you started game one of the playoffs with. You know, you're beaten up, you're battered, you're bruised. Sometimes it's war by attrition. Uh, that can play a role. But I think this Rangers team uh, would be able to vanquish the, the mighty Panthers here. They're not getting back to the final for the second year in a row, in my opinion. I think they will be close. It's going to be tightly contested. But I'm predicting a Rangers-Oilers Stanley Cup final as of right now. Of course, my opinion might change by the time we get to the end of the season. I've been pretty consistent with my Western Conference pick all year. My Eastern Conference pick, I have changed my opinion a few times. It could change again. We'll see. The trade deadline being just a little over a week away, uh, obviously, is going to play a big role in what some of these teams are capable of in the playoffs, and my opinions could change there. So to win the Stanley Cup, I am sticking with the Edmonton Oilers and Connor McDavid. I still have McDavid being the Conn Smythe Trophy winner, them hoisting the Stanley Cup, bringing it back to Canada for the first time since 93. Uh, would be a heck of a series. Lots of connections from the past, nothing too recent between the Oilers and the Rangers. Uh, it certainly would be fun you know, given that you know guys like Messier and Gretzky and all these guys have had connections to both franchises. Uh, it would be fun from a historical standpoint to see them do battle here. In the Stanley Cup final, a couple of, you know, especially a big market like New York, uh, you know, Canadian market that's been, you know, starving for a Stanley Cup for a long time, like Edmonton. And I think they get the job done. So let me know your thoughts on my predictions, how these matchups would go down in our comments. We'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, of course, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with all the news, rumors, and analysis of all 32 NHL teams. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Hello.